Freaks. This is Steve Says, episode number 105, episode 105 of Steve Says. And today we're talking about being prepared and not, not the regular prepared like we're usually talking about, like doomsday preppers or something like that. We're talking about, are you prepared for the invasion, the mental, emotional, and of course, physical invasion of everyday life? And do you have a framework to prepare for whatever shit that life throws at you on a regular basis? Steve says this is what you maybe don't want to hear, but this is the shit you need to hear. This is some people will hate, but most can relate. Steve says it's a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset guiding you to adapt and overcome to destroy the obstacles that are preventing your success in your health, your family, your finances, so you could stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own freaking terms. We're focusing on the mind, the body, and of course also your business. How to have a role model mindset, how to operate to dominate with discipline, energy, confidence, being a massive action taker, and being your freak motherfucking self. This is what we're talking about. On a regular basis. This week, we're talking about preparing. We're actually going to break down the acronym of PREPARE and give you a framework on how to be prepared for any bullshit that life throws at you. When things knock you, you get a kick in the nuts throughout your day. We're going to, we're going to break it down and give you an actual framework for it. Basically, it's how well do you train yourself to deal with the everyday battles of life? And are you confident? On how you operate every day in every single task. And have you done your due diligence in preparation to prepare? Really, it just comes down to, are you prepared mentally, physically, emotionally? And do you have the structure and the training in place in all these different areas? So we're going to break it down here on Steve Says, episode 105. So when it comes down to preparation... We have one of our, our core values that we've always had in, in the fitness business, in private coaching, in all, all the different businesses, there's a core value that's stuck to every single business and even in our personal family core values. And that's if you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game. That's basically the same as saying if you're always prepared, you never have to get prepared. I'm looking up sometimes we got YouTube up here. We got the Instagrams, the Facebooks, the MySpaces, the tweeters, all that stuff on here. So if you're always prepared, you never have to get prepared. So if you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game. I remember years ago when when I had the gyms in New York, I was teaching this free boxing class. We had a free boxing class every single Thursday night for in person in the gym for over 11 years. So I was teaching a free boxing class. I had a client who was a school teacher. And he said, listen, one of the heads of the board of education, um, some big shot in on the board of education is coming to try out the free boxing class today. He knew I was teaching it. So he's like, so make sure that you make it a really good workout. Make sure you make this, this boxing class a, a great workout because I have this, this high-level friend coming in. I've told him so many great things about you. So make sure you make sure you're, you're on your A game for this game, for this, for this boxing class. I said, listen, partner, you don't gotta tell me that. Because if you're always on your A game, you have to get on your A game. I'm gonna bring the same motherfucking fire, the same intensity. That I bring for every single class, whether it's one person, whether it's a million people, whether it's for a a high-end client, or whether it's for a free class of of people who are never uh, intending on being members or clients, it doesn't fucking matter. I'm going to be prepared for anything, no matter what. Being prepared for every session, whether it's one person or a hundred people showing up and, and having it on fucking fire, smooth, rocking and rolling, under control, not making any excuses. Because you know what? Preparation equals confidence. Preparation also equals competence. Both. Preparation equals confidence and competence. You you can have confidence in what you're doing in life if you've freaking freaking been prepared for what you're doing. And we're going to break down the acronym of PREPARE. Actually, an acronym to, to give you a framework of how to prepare. What you need to do to have the due diligence to have that confidence. So let's reverse engineer it. Let's go back. So what is confidence? We need to prepare in order to have confidence. What is confidence? Confidence is the attitude you have, the way you carry yourself, the, your belief in your ability to figure shit out, that you're not really stressed about stuff. Confident in how you show up, 
how you how you operate, how you act, how you do everything that you do. You heard the thing, how you do anything is how you do everything. You got to get the mail, get the mail like a motherfucker. You're sweeping the floor, be the best motherfucking floor sweeper in the world. That's confidence. That's confidence. Confidence in your ability to do the fucking impossible. Do shit that people think is crazy because you've done the due diligence. You've prepared. You've got the reps in. And we're not talking, again, we're not talking about doomsday preppers, although we do prepare for that also. We do our survival days here at the Freak Cave. We do our survival days where we, we go live outside, stay outside over overnight or whatever in the tent and just our survival gear and MREs and starting our own fires and all that stuff. We're not talking about that kind of prepare today. We're talking about, well, well, this kind of prepare can cover everything. Not just the end of the world and the apocalypse and the, and the freaking, uh, what's, what's the movie? The, the Purge. The new Purge just came out. If you haven't seen a new Purge, you got to check out the new Purge. It's part five. It's fucking awesome like all the rest of them. That's our favorite movie series here in the freak household. So let's break it down. Prepare. P-R-E-P-A-R-E. So what those are going to stand for, I'm going to break them all down for you. The first P in prepare is fucking practice. Practice. Now listen, you need to practice. You can't practice when you're in the game. You need to practice before the game. Look at basketball players. Look at Michael Jordan. You know how Michael Jordan used to start, the greatest basketball player ever, used to start every day? He'd show up like hours early to practice. He'd get extra practice in. And that's why he was the fucking best ever. And he would just start with the simples, the basics, the fundamentals. And he would practice just inbounding passes. The most boring shit ever. And that's what he would start practice with all the time. He'd practice thousands and thousands of reps on everything he's doing. Practice on practice and then execute on money. Think about fighters. They'll go into a, a, a fighter will go through a, a, a 8, 10, 12 week fight training camp. For an MMA fight that would last a five, a five, five minute rounds at max, 25 minutes maximum, maybe even three, five minute rounds or boxing. You have three minute rounds. Think about that. They're training for months and months and months for 25 fucking minutes. Your practice, your preparation needs to be 10 to one, a hundred to one to the actual game. Because then when it comes to the game, you'll have that freaking confidence. If you've put in the practice, if you've prepared. So the first P in prepare is practice. And what is practice? Practice, think, think about it. You need to role play. You need to, and we're not talking about just sports. We're talking about anything. We're talking about sales. We're talking about anything that you're doing. You need to have practice. That's how you prepare for shit. We're talking about war. You need to practice for war. You Before they took down Osama bin Laden, they trained in a mock, a, a made up, house just like the compound they're going into so they could do that shit with their eyes closed they practiced you need to practice you need to practice get a partner you need to practice in the mirror practice out loud record yourself when you're doing it if you're doing a speak if you're doing speaking engagements if you're doing sales you need to practice you need to practice you need to practice on social media like right here i'm practicing i'm practicing talking because i'm a horrible fucking speaker and i say the fuck word a lot practice is a habit practice it needs to be your process. Practice should be, you, have to, you should have a process of practicing. Practice should be your system. It should be your tradition. It's, a, it's your method of doing things. It should be a, a habit. Practicing is a habit. All the time, you're always be practicing, always trying to get better, always getting 1% 1, 1 better all the time. So that's the first P in prepare is practice. The R kind of flows right off of the, the R flows right off of the P. This is going to kind of flow together. And it's going to be repetitions. You need to get your reps in. You need to do it over, not just practice. Practice means actually practicing it. But repetitions, do it over and over and over. That's why you see it flows right off it. Like I said, those you got those reps in uh, in the practice. And do it over until you make it automatic. And even if you fail, you fucking course correct and just keep getting the reps in. Getting the reps in of, of making phone calls. Getting the reps in of speaking. Getting the reps in of recording videos. Of doing fucking Instagram stories. Reps in of shooting, get your shooting down. Reps in of, of your, your, your boxing, your punching, whatever it is to get better in your mind, get better in your body, get better in your fucking business. So the R in prepare, the first R is repetitions. Do it over and over until you have competence, till you are actually proficient at it. That's what you need to do. You need to practice and have repetitions until you're proficient, have some proficiency. 
Repetition means you're repeating it over and over, getting into that rhythm, that recurrent. It's just recurring. It's getting your beats down. Ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. You're getting the reps in where you're just flowing and flowing and flowing to the beat of the motherfucking drum, the beat of your brain, the beat of your fucking heart beating. That's the reps you need to get. Non stop, continuous reps. Reps are, are the actual definition of reps is something made by or resulting from repeating. So you need to make something and get a result by repeating. That's what repetitions are. Repetitions are making something. Like you do repetitions in the gym, reps in the gym. You're making muscle. Your, your, your result is building freaking muscle when you're getting your reps in the gym. It's repeating, it's doing, it's saying, it's writing something over and over again. Repeated action, repeated performance, repeated production, always producing, repeated creation, creating shit, repeated presenting, present pr- presentations. This is repetitions over and over and over again. You see how it flows right off of the practice and get your reps in over and over again. So practice is the act The repetition is the frequency when you put those two together. Which leads us to the E. The E in prepare. So the P was practice. The R was repetition. The E is excellence. You need to always be striving for excellence. Always striving to get better. What does excellence mean? Excellence is is almost unattainable. Think of it as mastery. You're always striving for mastery and you will never get it. And you know you'll never get it, but you're always going to try and fucking get it. You're striving for perfection. You know you're never going to get perfection, but you're going to keep fucking working towards it. That's what it is. That's what's going to make you be, operate with excellence, with not half-assing anything. Like when I said, we, we go sweeping the floors or whatever. When we go out to get the mail, we fucking brawl to get the mail. We're going to go out to get the mail with excellence. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to get the mail. We fight over the mail. We race to go get the mail. We tackle each other in the middle of the street just to get the freaking mail. Excellence is is possessing an outstanding quality or superior merit. Excellence is being remarkable or extraordinary or superior. So that's why to be prepared, you want to always strive for excellence. And that's what helps you be prepared. That's what helps you being preparation equals confidence. So if you are practicing, if you are Getting your reps in, your repetitions. If you are always striving for excellence, that's going to get you one step closer to freaking confidence. Leading us to the E. The E in prepare. Or sorry, the, P, the next, the second P. Duh, the E in prepare was excellent. The second P is a double, is a two for one deal. It's push and pressure. The P is for pushing and pressuring. You need to push and pressure yourself. You need to push and pressure other people around you. That's how you prepare and you get prepared. Get your people around you prepared. Get your community prepared. Get your team prepared. Get your staff prepared. Get your sales team prepared. Get your family prepared. Push and pressure yourself. Push and pressure the people around you. Everyone else. All the others. Push and pressure your fucking limits. Push and pressure your ceiling. That's above you. That glass ceiling. Keep pushing it higher and higher and higher and higher until you raise the ceiling up. Until you blast through that motherfucker. Then you need to push and pressure your own beliefs that are in your head. I told you this is all about the mind, the body, and the business. Push and pressure your fucking body to its limit. Every workout should be... And you're not gaining anything if you're not fucking sweating. You're not out of breath. Your heart rate's not up. Your muscles aren't fucking burning. You're getting nothing out of it. If you're not pushing, pushing and pressuring your mind, your body, your business, your limits, your beliefs. Push and pressure your fucking boundaries. Push and pressure the ceiling. Push and pressure the fucking walls in your house till that motherfucker just explodes and you expand it and create your own fucking walls. Create your own ceiling. There is no ceiling. There is no limit. That's pushing and pressuring. But when, the, the actual definition of pressure. Think of the definition of pressure. Def, pressure could mean a burden. It could mean stress. It could mean strain. But if you also look up the synonyms of pressure, it's strength. Think of how fucked up that is that if you look shit up in the dictionary, you'll see it has complete opposites as the definitions. Not even as the opposite words. It means the same thing. It just It's like the dictionary knows that humans are so fucked up that they'll hear a word and, and, and usually 75, 85% of those definitions will be negative and then there'll be like one or two 
variations or synonyms that are positive for it. Like pressure was, was like to force someone to do something, uh, exertion, all this shit like that. When you look up the word pressure, burden, stress, strain, but then also strength is on that list. Think about that. They know that there's 1% of us motherfuckers out there, 1% of us freaks out there that are going to think positive. And when we hear pressure, we think of it as a good thing. Pressure is a privilege, someone said. I forget who it was. Pressure is a privilege. Someone someone saw that on, on the Instagram. You can't keep talking who said what anymore. So it does, I didn't create the saying, whatever. Pressure is privilege, not that brilliant. But I, someone said it out there because you see so much shit posted out there and, and, and people post shit from the, the Bible and then they post it and you get whatever. I don't know where it came from. But when you hear words like, oh, you're going to push me, you're pressuring me. I, I've had people, I've had... People, when I was, I was selling stuff to, like I'm selling the project, Men's Personal Development Program to, I was selling uh, private training to people, one-on-one, operate to dominate, peak performance, personal development training for them. Or selling gym memberships, back when we had the gym open, or online fitness memberships. And people said, I, I feel like you're, you're, you're pressuring me. Well, damn right I'm pressuring you, motherfucker. Yes, I'm pressuring you because you need it. You need some pressure to be put on you to get the results you're looking for. You need to be pushed. You need to be pressured because we are the 1% that sees pressure as a definition of being strength, of a good thing, of a positive thing. That's how we see pressure. We're not the negative motherfuckers that see it as a burden, as a stress, as a strain, as as exertion or overexertion or whatever. It's fucked up how the dictionary does that. I've noticed that about a lot of definitions, a lot of words. It will go for a bunch of negative ways of thinking of it and then like one or two, like 10%, 20% positive. And it shouldn't even be that because the, the motherfuckers out there, there's like 1% of people out there that are actually positive. So that is the, the second P. So first for prepare, we had the P was practice, R was repetition, E was excellence. The second P was push and pressure. Leads us to the A. A three-letter word that especially men are afraid of. Fucking ask. Ask questions. Ask questions helps you prepare. Ask for help. Helps you prepare. Helps you be prepared. Helps you have confidence. Helps you get confidence because that's how you learn and gain knowledge by fucking asking questions. If you're learning and gaining knowledge, you're going to be prepared. If you're prepared, you're going to have confidence. And if you have confidence, you're going to have competence, which is going to lead to more confidence and competence, being more prepared and higher levels of preparation. And that's what we're talking about. Being prepared for whatever the fuck life throws at you from all areas of life. Being prepared mentally, being prepared physically, being prepared emotionally, financially, socially, being fucking prepared for anything. This is what we're talking about. Ask, ask, ask questions, ask for help. Don't suffer in silence. Ask for clarity, ask for answers, ask for information. Ask questions to yourself. Reflection, self-reflection is one of the greatest ways to prepare is to reflect. Reflection will help you prepare for the next day. Reflection of today will fucking help you prepare for tomorrow. Reflection of one fight will help you prepare for the next fight. Reflection of a sales conversation will help you prepare for the next sales conversation. You should be, re- you should be reflecting like a motherfucking mirror all the time. That's what you should be thinking. Asking questions is really reflecting when you think about it. Getting answers. They have the saying. You've probably heard the saying. The only stupid uh, the, the only, the only, there's no such thing as a stupid question, right? Well, I beg to differ. There is such thing as a stupid question. Is a fucking stupid question. But that's besides the point. Ask questions, questions, if examinations, investigations, inquiries. You have inquiries. Think about that. Like, f- figure out solutions to problems by asking questions. Turn uncertainty into certainty. Turn lack of knowledge into wisdom. By asking questions. Don't suffer in silence. Reflect on everything. Ask questions of yourself. Ask questions of your results. Ask questions of your output, of your effort, of your attitude. Fucking examine yourself. Put yourself in that mirror of the questions, of the reflection. Are you doing your fucking due diligence? And the more you reflect, the more you ask questions of yourself. The more you ask questions of your peers, of experts. The more you ask people for feedback. Ask your 
your, your boss for feedback. Ask your peers and your business partners for feedback. Ask your, the people that you, you lead for feedback. Ask motherfucking strangers in the grocery store for some feedback. Ask. Ask. It's the A in prepare. And I, I know we, we already went hard on this one. The second R is reflection. Because the, it just went together with the asking questions. Because I, I told you, this all flows together. This is why it's an acronym for prepare. This is how you prepare. It's a framework. Reflection is consideration, observation, looking back. That's what reflection is. This is the second R in prepare. Reflecting is, if you think of like, you know, the word like actual literal definition of reflecting, like when you're reflecting light off of something, the, the, the definition of that is the act of reflecting as in casting back light or heat, mirroring or giving back or showing an image, the state of being reflected. Think about that. And that's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about mental and emotional and reflecting on your day, but an actual like mirror that reflects stuff is Casting back a light or a heat. Think about that. Or giving back. Or showing an image. I like that. Casting back light or heat. Think of it. You're thinking of yesterday. Thinking of today. Like tonight. I'll do my reflecting. I'll do my journaling. Last thing before I do my meditation. Before I go to sleep. Part of my end of the night ritual. If you want any information on that. Just send me a message. I'll hook you up. And teach you the whole ritual for the end of the night. It's EON. End of night ritual. Just like you have a morning ritual, you should have an end of night ritual. It's what we teach uh, private, private, high end coaching clients. We teach the men in the project. You need an end of the night ritual. Reflecting happens on there where I'll be reflecting on today. And that reflecting on today is going to help me cast a light on tomorrow. It's going to help me bring the motherfucking fire tomorrow. It's going to casting back the light and the heat from today to make tomorrow even better because I'm reflecting. And that's why it flowed right from the questions, asking the questions and asking the questions yourself turns into reflection, reflection, it's thoughts, it's consideration, meditation, whatever you want to call it, journaling, writing it down, but fixing your thoughts on something, giving careful consideration to what you just did to prepare for when you're doing it again. And tomorrow you're fucking doing it again. You're planning on waking up tomorrow, aren't you? So you need to have reflection. If you're not reflecting on a regular basis, on a daily basis, you are fucking up and you're doing it wrong. You got this whole thing wrong. And that's why your days are spinning out of control. Your mind is spinning out of control. Your body, your health, your fitness, your energy is spinning out of control. It's these strategies and tactics and this framework that I'm telling you that will give you energy all fucking day. It's, what time is it here? It's 6.30 p.m. here in Southern California. I woke up today at 4.30 a.m. And, and it's just been on fire all day. I, I, it's all planned out. I'm prepared because I've practiced. I've gotten my repetitions in. I'm always striving for excellence. I'm always pushing and pressuring myself. I'm asking questions and I'm reflecting. It will give you fucking energy. It'll give you the light and the heat. It'll cast back light and heat on you. That's reflection. Leading us to the E. The final E and again, it's all ties together. You can see some of these were interwoven with each other. We mentioned it already a little bit about getting knowledge and wisdom. The last, the E in prepare is educate. Constant education, never ending improvement. Like dedicating yourself to lifelong learning. There's not a day that goes by I don't work on personal development, like actual courses, like online courses, videos, whatever it is, learning new skills, strategies, and tactics, but also not a day that doesn't go by that I don't actually read a physical book where I'm taking notes, I'm highlighting, I'm underlining, writing on it, coming up with ideas, and also a day doesn't go by where I don't also listen to a book. I'll do all three of those every motherfucking day, seven days a week. You need to educate yourself. I've gotten more education in the last three years from just working on personal development, leadership, communication, teamwork, problem solving, business, emotional intelligence. More in the last three years than I got my entire life of, 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 of high school and all that other shit that, that didn't teach you fuck all for all the years. Educate yourself, educate others, read and study, research, learn shit. And after you learn, the best way to reinforce it is to fucking teach it. Have a white belt mentality. Always looking to get better. Not being a know-it-all motherfucker. Nothing worse than saying, I already know that. Or being that uh, annoying know-it-all motherfucker. Have that white belt mentality to learn something new every day. Learn something from everyone you meet. Every interaction, every situation you're in, every conversation you have, no matter who it is, no matter what your ego is going into it, 
Go in with that mind, that thought of, I am going to get educated on this. What can I learn in this situation right now from this person, from this moment, from this situation, from this experience? Get educated from your experiences. Get educated from fucking everything. Everything. Everything is data. Education is data. Just bringing in data. Use that data to prepare you and have the knowledge and wisdom going forward. That's what you need to think about. Educate. De- de- developing the, the, the powers of, of teaching. Learn it. Teach it. Which is going to make you relearn it. Educate. De- developing your mind. Developing your body. So again, breaking it down. The recap of how to prepare. How to be ready. Prepare. Because listen, the invasion's coming. The invasion's fucking here. If you haven't been paying attention, the invasion's here. Look at all the crazy shit going on in the world. You need to be fucking prepared. The way you prepare in all areas. You prepare With your body, with your strength, your endurance, your conditioning, your cardio, your self-defense, your fighting skills, your your boxing, your kickboxing, your jujitsu. You you prepare yourself with your nutrition, the way you eat, the way you operate. You prepare yourself in your mind, the way you study, the way you read, the way you learn. So it breaks down, prepare, P-R-E-P-A-R-E. The first P, just as a recap, was practice. The The R was repetitions. The E was excellence. The second P was push and pressure. The A was ask questions and ask for help. The next R was reflection. And the final E was educate. That's how you prepare. If you just run through that framework and live that way, live like in a life of preparing, Be a motherfucking prepper. Be a doomsday prepper. Be a lifelong prepper to prepare for any situation. That's why people ask me. People ask me, what do you do when you're having a bad day? When you're having a bad day, what do you do to bounce back? Say, listen, I don't have bad. I don't have bad days, and it's not me trying to be Mr. Cool Guy or Mr. Tough Guy or Mr. Marine or any bullshit like that. It's I don't have a bad day. I have great motherfucking days and awesome motherfucking days. That is it. Because life is fucking awesome. Today is fucking awesome. You are fucking awesome. And you need to tell yourself all the time, say, I am fucking awesome about yourself. And the reason why you can do that is because you have the confidence and the competence because you prepared. Preparation, preparing equals confidence. Preparation equals confidence. You need to be prepared in all these areas of life. Being prepared mentally, being prepared physically, being prepared emotionally, socially, spiritually, fucking financially. And if you apply those steps, P-R-E-P-A-R-E, what is it, fucking seven, apply that framework and you'll be prepared for whatever comes tomorrow. It doesn't matter. That's why I won't have a bad day because I'm fucking prepared. Get prepared. If you have any questions, comments, or any of this, just leave a comment below or send me a private message. If you want to go deeper into this kind of stuff and you need some help preparing, you need some help preparing your mind, your body, and your business, you need some help preparing in any of those areas of life to have more discipline, more energy, more confidence, to be an action taker, to be your freak motherfucking self, send me a message we could talk about OTD, Operate to Dominate, one-on-one, peak performance, private, personal development coaching that we could talk about and help you out. It's both online and in person, high-level, peak performance, personal development coaching, one-on-one, Let's talk about it if you need help with any of this stuff. If you feel like your wheels are spinning, you feel like you know you could do much more, you feel like you need to level up in your mind, in your body, in your business. Let's talk about it. I got to get rolling. Be prepared. The invasion is coming. The invasion is here. Be fucking prepared. I will talk to you later. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.